The girls are on the block ready to start. And they're away. Have an all junior gold medalist winner there, Kiara, in lane four. Again, a tight line of girls across the middle there. Lane four looking nice and smooth through the water. Yep. Five coming up quite quickly on her outside. But it looks like she'll hold on. Yep, so Kira's taken that out in a time of 31.80. Second was Holly and third was Chantel. Just pause for a moment while they have the presentations for the girls' 12-13 butterfly event. And we'll see that the boys are lining up ready for the start of the boys' 11 50 metres freestyle. Primary School Eagle Hawk. In lane three is Jamie from Our Lady's Help of Christians. In lane four, Austin from Baldwin Primary School. Lane five, Arturo from Albert Park Primary School. In lane six is Fraser from Sacred Heart Yarrawonga. In lane seven is Blake from Locke Primary School. And lane eight, Oliver from Pleasant Street Primary School. The boys are behind the blocks, ready to go. And they're off. And they're off into the water. Good underwater there from lane four. Yeah, it's looking very strong in the water there, yes, Austin. He is. Lane six and five, fighting it out now for second and third. Looks like Fraser may get second. Yep, so Austin's come first, first. in a time of 30.40. Fraser takes second place and Arturo third. <laughs> Girls are lining up for event 53, which is the girls' 12, 13, 50 metre freestyle. We've announced as soon as the presentations for the boys' 12, 13 butterfly has been completed. Introducing the swimmers in the girls' 12 to 13, 50 metre freestyle. In lane zero is Grace from Girton Grammar School. In lane one, Sadie from Wangaratta Primary School. In lane two, Emerson from Eltham College. Lane three is Abby from Glen Iris Primary School. Lane four is Caitlin from Furbank Anglican Grammar School. Lane five is Anissa from North Melbourne Primary School. Lane six, we have Olivia from New Haven College. In lane seven, Ava from Ballarat and Clarendon College. And in lane eight, Ella from Swan Hill Primary School. So Anissa in lane five was an all junior gold medalist in this event. 
A few good swimmers here. Lane five's got the early lead. Yep, that's so Anissa. that's Anissa with an early lead. So Olivia and Caitlin are making a challenge there. She'll hold on to that. So to it's Caitlin's come in first in a time of 29.65, followed by Abby, and in third place, Anissa. moment the medal presentation for the boys 9 10 50 meter freestyle is taking place as the boys for the 12 13 50 meter freestyle line up behind their blocks in preparation for their race the blocks the boys 12 to 13 50 meter freestyle in lane zero is nathan from scotch college in lane one we have harrison from eskdale in lane two is william from williamstown north primary school in lane three jules from st mary's primary school swan hill lane four is zach from lock primary school Lane five, we have Luca from St. Kevin's College. Lane six is Oscar from Red Hill Consolidated. Lane seven, Bosco from Ballarat and Clarendon. And lane eight, Joel from Diamond Creek East Primary School. See that boy again. Yeah. Looks like we're missing lane seven. He wasn't here earlier. Mm. Last of our freestyle events for the morning. But Luca in lane five, who was an all-junior gold medalist. So expect good things from him. And we have our invitation swimmer in lane zero. So after this event, we move on to the multi-class events for freestyle. So keep an eye on Nathan in lane zero. Zach in lane four. Lane three looking really strong out here. It's Jules. And here comes Zach. Three and four are fighting it out there. It'll come to the touch. Yeah. Zach. And Zach's got first in a 29.18. Jules second and Luca third. Well done, boys. So I'll wait for the boys to clear. Moving over to Raf now, is about to have an interview with one of our presenters. Good morning, we're here at the School Sport Victoria State Swimming Championships for Primary School and I've got the very lovely Gabby with me. Gabby, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Brilliant stuff. Now, what brings you to a championship like this? Um, it's amazing to see all these young kids swim and, you know, see how they get PBs and just honestly have some fun in the pool. Yeah. Now, what was it like for you competing in terms of school sport when you, back in the day, it wasn't that long ago, because you're only 18, I think, yes. 18 years old and still competing, which is fantastic. But what was it like in terms of school sport, the journey for you? Um, so I started at Christchurch Grammar School swimming and I loved going to school carnivals and I always found it really fun. And then I did GSV with Melbourne Girls Grammar. So yeah, I always found it really amazing and just to see what, how you could push yourself and just have some fun with your school and yeah. Well, that's fantastic. GSV is a great um, uh, organisation that runs some amazing events as well. But you had some amazing results just recently where you've actually equaled or beaten Emily Seabombs 
um, butterfly, is that correct? Emily Seabom's 200 IM. So that was back in 2019 at the Short Course Championships. So yeah, it was a really exciting meet and I honestly was not expecting that at all. And then when I touched the wall, I was like, oh my God, I just did a PV. And yeah, it was really amazing to see how I pushed myself quite hard. And yeah, it was really good. Brilliant. Now, dumb question. Where do you hope to take this one day? Um, I would love to make the Olympics. That would be amazing. I Representing Australia would just be an absolute dream of mine with seniors. So that would be amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, great to have you here with us, presenting medals, shaking hands and high-fiving the youngsters because they look up to you. Fred. Thanks for being here. Love it. Thank you so much. 55. Go for it. Do that as well. So apologies for that, we missed the introduction for those swimmers. So we had Ayla from St Mary's Primary School in Echuca in lane four, and we had Molly from Lowther Hall AGS in lane five, our multi-class 11-year-old freestyle girls. This one. So now we move on to our girls 12 to 13, 50 metre freestyle multi class. In lane four is Isabel from St Mary's Primary School in East St Kilda. And in lane five is Tegan from Lynbrook Primary School. Both these students have disabilities of different levels, so it won't necessarily be the person who touches first that wins this race, but their times are compared to the world records for this event in their categories and then calculated on points to see who the winner is. Correct. So both of these girls have a different category, so mm -hmm. as um, Andrew just said, it doesn't necessarily mean that the swimmer that touches the wall first is the actual winner of the event. So we have lots of different classifications here today. S8, S12, 14, 15, 7, 10, we've got almost one of it each, I think. Each. And those numbers represent the level of their disability? Correct. So the lower the number, the higher the disability. Correct. Both these students make their way to the end there, doing a very good job of with their freestyle. Probably their first time in this type of event, Some of especially them, yep. at this level. Absolutely. It's just so the good state to see final. them here. One bell to, well done to Isabel, who's touched first. And Tegan from Lynbrook will be finishing up second. No doubt back at the home school, they'll be cheering her on as well. Yep, Watching so on the live stream, hopefully. Isabel's time was a 109.90 and Tegan a on to our next event, I have an infraction report to announce. Event 51, the swimmer in lane 8 has been disqualified, started before the starting signal. That was event 51, lane 8. So behind the blocks we have our boys 9 to 10, 50 metre freestyle multi-class. In lane 2 we have Lachlan from St Joseph's Primary School, Sorrento. In lane 3 is Alex from Karingal Primary School. In lane four is Eli from Tim Boone School. In lane five, Max from Rutherglen Primary School. And in lane six, Jaden from Mount View Primary School. 
Again, we have a range of disabilities here. So we'll not necessarily be the person who touches first that will win this race. So we'll wait for the results to come through later. And you'll notice some are starting in the water and some are starting on the blocks. So one of our swimmers has just fallen in, so we'll just get him back out and just get them settled again. So they'll be assisted out of the water in most cases. And you'll also notice that behind the block, some of the swimmers have got an assistant to help them. And they're off this time. Okay, so we have a S7, an S10, and three S15s here in this event. And our looks like Eli's taken a very early lead in this race. Yep. Swimming well. Eli being our S10 swimmer. He's doing a great job out there. It's a very nice little swimmer. Fantastic. Mm. At this age, some of these, I'd say, would be their very first time at a school state championship. Definitely. The event wasn't held last year, so these no. guys will have missed out then as for their first chance this year. So Eli's swum a 43.69. Followed by Max in a 47.17 and Alex a 49.36. Then Jaden was a 50. Jaden and Lachlan have both come in at the same time in a 53 flat. A tie. Presentations are taking place for event 54 as the boys for event 71 line up ready for the 11 year old 50 metre multi class event introduced at the conclusion of the presentation. Moving on to our boys 11 year old 50 metre freestyle multi-class. In lane 3 is Caden from Heatherton. In lane 4 we have Ryder from Mount View Primary School. In lane 5 is Ben from Roland Park Primary School. And in lane six, Louis from Parktone Primary School. Again, you'll notice some of the boys, one of the boys is starting in the water and the other boys are starting on their blocks. They're away. Move down doing freestyle. Lane four looking quite strong there. So we can have some trivia, Andrew. Do you know where Rowellan Park Primary School is? No? Don't know that one. We did this on Thursday at the secondary. We played a bit of trivia to see if we knew where the schools were. And he's on to it. <laughs> So Ryder's doing really well out there from Mount View. And he's just about to touch the wall. And Roland Park Primary School is in Carrum Downs. Oh, there you go. So Ryder's time was a 44.21. Good swim from Ryder. Caden, a 52.79. Ben, 102.51. Oh, he's been changed to a 10017. And Louis, 101.33. Three, yes. We have the presentations for the first of the multi-disability event taking place at the moment as the girls for the 9, 10, 50 metre backstroke prepare behind their blocks. No, we have another multi-disability event. The boys 12, 13 first, sorry. And they're getting ready. Introducing the swimmers in the boys 12 to 13, 50 metre freestyle multi-class. In lane two is James from St. Kevin's College. 
giving us a wave there. In lane four, Lachlan from Hunting Tower School. In lane five is Ewan from Brighton Primary School. And in lane six, Lachlan from St Joseph's Primary School, Baronia. So just while the swimmers get settled again here, just have an amendment of the last infraction report to read out. It wasn't event 51, it was event 54. The swimmer in lane 8 was disqualified for event 54. So it looks like the boy in lane two is going to start in the water this time. So James is elected to start in the pool, which he's able to do. Just having a chat to him over there. Some of these boys are probably very nervous. It's probably their first time in this type of event. Could well be. So we've got another one hopping in there. Yep, he's going to have a start on the water as well. That'd be Lachlan from Baronia. And off they go. So we have an S6, two S14s and an S15 Ding. here. So in four and five are fighting it out in the middle there. Again, it won't necessarily be the person who touches first for that wins this event. No. Make you stretch. So we're watching now as Lockie Lachlan swims to the finish. Being followed by Ewan from yeah. Brighton Primary School. All doing a great job, these boys. Well done. As Lachlan finishes. So Ewan's time has come up of a 56.91. We'll just wait for Lachlan's time to come up, which was 54.82. There it is. It's come up on the official board now. And the other Lachlan S was a 112.22. James has finished in a 119.60. Go to another medal presentation in a moment. So the medal presentation is taking place if for the multidisability girls 12 to 13 freestyle. As they swimmers leave the water, we've got the girls preparing, lining up behind the blocks for the backstroke events now and the first one will be the girls 9, 10 50 metres backstroke There'll be two whistles here the girls will be whistled into the water then whistled back to hold onto the blocks we'll make it presentations now So introducing our swimmers in the girls 9 to 10 50 metre backstroke in lane one is Georgia from St. Joseph's Primary School, Namurka. In lane two, we have Kayla from Echuca Primary School. In lane three is Megan from Yarraville West Primary School. Lane four, we have Mia from Good Shepherd Lutheran Croydon. Lane five is Lauren from Heidelberg Primary School. Lane six, we have Quinn from Loretto Mandeville Hall. In lane seven is Emily from Inverloch Kongwok Primary. And lane eight, Ruby from Ballarat and Clarendon College. Great to hear the cheering going on out there yes. in the crowd for the swimmers. 
getting closer to the relays too. There'll be a lot more noise then, hopefully. They certainly will. They'll certainly get excited and involved. So Mia in lane four was a jun all junior gold medalist in this event, which was held in this very pool. Probably about a month ago now, wasn't it? I'm yes, guessing. I yeah. Yep, it was back in March. Lane three is looking pretty good there too, though. Megan has got an early lead, I think. Megan from Yarraville West Primary School. Yep, she's got quite a comfortable lead here. Mm. Although Mia's moving right up alongside her just about now. She has a faster stroke rate, Mia. She does. And see how who's going to finish here. Yes, I think Mia looks quite strong at the finish here. Both had soft touches, I think, so we'll see. Now Mia's come first with a 42.38. Beeg in second and Quinn in third place. So behind the box preparing for their race are the boys 9, 10, 50 metre backstrokers. Boys are warming their arms up there. Arms are swinging, a few stretches. Getting rid of some of the nerves. Introducing the swimmers for the boys 9 to 10, 50 metre backstroke. In lane one is Fletcher from home school. Lane two, Colton from Carisbrook Primary School. Lane three is Kepler from Lara Lake Primary School. Lane four, Nicholas from Malvern Central Primary School. In lane five, Lachlan from Scotch College. Lane six, we have James from Ballarat and Clarendon College. In lane seven, Kaya from Altham College. And in lane eight, Mitch from St. Brendan's Lakes Entrance. A big trip today from Lakes Entrance. Yes. And Nicholas up here again from earlier, our old junior silver medalist in this event. So he's multi-talented. Mm -hmm. Really good to see so many kids doing all the strokes. Yes, in the primary events, swimmers can only swim in two individual events. Correct. So they can't swim all four like they do when they get to secondary. So there's many of them will pick and choose, Yep. which is my... Favourite and which is perhaps my strongest next. Mm. <laughs> so Nicholas looking very strong here. Strong here, here taking four. a very good lead early. Mm. Very nice techniques going on there. Nice comfortable win there in first. Yep, 39.83. Lachlan in second. And Kepler third. Results there on the screen as the boys leave the water. Watching them swim under the ropes to leave. And we'll move up to the other end for the girls 11 50 metre backstroke as they prepare for their race. Last minute adjustments of goggles and warming up of the arms. Zoe from Ballarat Grammar School. In lane three, Cyrella from St. John Vianney Mulgrave. Lane four is Arika from South Yarra Primary School. Lane five, Yerulan from Oak Park Primary School. In lane six is Capri from Bel Air Primary School. In lane seven, Taya from Cathedral College Wangaratta. And in lane eight, Sadie from St. Joseph's Primary School in Kerrang. 
Girls are whistled into the water. In the hands of the starter now. And they're off. And you're rolling in lane five. She was a silver medalist at the All Juniors in the backstroke. Did well there then. And having a tussle there with lane four. Yes, that's Arika. Arika from South Yarra Primary School. Arika looks quite strong there at the moment. Yes, very smooth. Keeps her head very still there. And staying off the ropes. Not crashing into them on the sides. <laughs> that can be tricky. <laughs> Finishing first in a time of 35.85. And your Rulins come second and Cyrella third. The results there on the board for everyone to see. The Messel presentation about to take place. <laughs> and the boys for the 11 year old 50 meter backstroke are preparing, getting ready for their to be introduced. For the boys, 11 year old, 50 metre backstroke. In lane one, we have Max from St. Michael's Primary School. Lane two is Fraser from Sacred Heart, Yarrawonga. Lane three is Joshua from Hume Anglican Grammar School. Lane four, Xavier E from Hampton Primary School. In lane five is Alfred from Mont Albert Primary School. In lane six is Tom from Cardinia International School. In lane seven, Noah from Skipton Primary School. And in lane eight, Xavier S from St. Laborious Primary School in Eagle Hawk. The boys are whistled into the water. We've got Xavier who was an all junior gold medalist and in lane four and Alfred in lane five who was an all junior finalist, finishing fourth. Correct. So some of these boys are swimming in the 11-year-old event. They could have swum in the 10-year-old event at all juniors. At juniors. Because some of these boys may still be 10 at the moment. Yes. As we know, it's how many candles on your cake at, at the end of the year. At the end of the year, exactly. <laughs> so it's what you are for the entire year. Correct. So fairly even across the pool here. Yes. Lane six is looking looking for a place. And in fact, finished second. So first was Xavier. Yep, Xavier E in a 38.66. Tom was second and Alfred third. The results are on the screen now for people to see at home. Boys are leaving the water, and the girls 12, 13 are preparing down the start end of the pool. We now have the girls 12 to 13, 50 metre backstroke. In lane zero is Grace from Girton Grammar School. In lane one, Ella from Swan Hill Primary School. In lane two, Isabel from Glalrad Grammar School. In lane three is Faith from St Mary's Rutherglen. Lane four, we have Caitlin from Furbank Anglican Grammar School. In lane five, Charlotte from PLC. In lane six, Michaela from Numerella Primary School. Lane 7 is Genevieve from Montmorency South Primary School. And in lane 8, Jasmine from St. Bridget's Primary School in Gisborne. Excuse me, I've got one and I'll bring one. My 
Um, the girls are away now on the 12-13 backstroke. So we have an invitation swimmer in lane zero. It's Grace from Girton. And looks, we've got lane six. It looks like we've got an early lead. So lane six with Michaela. New Morella Primary School. Do you know that one, Andrew? I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> I do know it, but I've got to remember we'll it. We'll come back to that later. So lane four's like got to win there. Yeah. 36 8 8. And then, of course, Michaela in lane six was second. And lane two was our third place getter. Who was Isabel? New Morella is in Far East Gippsland, down near Orbost. Okay, well, hi to New Morella if you're watching. Presentations are taking place on one of the freestyle events. And the start list is there for the 12, 13, 50 metre backstroke boys. Moving on now to our boys, 12, 13, 50 metre backstroke. In lane one, we have Sam from St. Mary's Primary School, Swan Hill. Lane two is Will from Ballarat and Clarendon College. Lane three is Zayden from Gippsland Grammar School in Sale. Lane four is Lewis from St. James Primary School, Vermont. Lane five, William from Williamstown North Primary School. Lane six, Benjamin from Oatlands Primary School. Lane seven, Samuel from Eltham East Primary School. Giving us a wave. And lane eight, Marcus from St. Mary's College in Seymour. Lewis in lane four was an all-junior bronze, bronze medalist. Oops. Another school I'm not familiar with, Oatlands Primary School. Okay. Very even across the pool here at the moment. Lane four looking quite strong. The Oatlands is in the Narry Warren area. Okay. Looks like Lewis is very comfortably... Comfortably winning there. Correct. In a time of 33.95. Yep. Second was Zayden. And third was William. Well done, boys. And that is the last of our individual swimmers in the able body. We now have the multi-class backstrokers. While we wait for the medal presentation, we'll just let people watching at home know that this is a combined event. So there'll be a 12, 13 girl in lane three, and then the 11-year-old girls will be in lanes four and five. five. Oh. Can we tell them to hold down there? They will. Now we are here at the State Swimming Championships. I'm here with, what's your name? Mia G. Mia. Now what school are you at, Mia? Good Shepherd Lutheran Primary School. Fantastic. That's in Croydon, right? Which is a great school. Now what brings you to MSAC today? I'll help you out. You're at the State Swimming Championships, but you just competed in an event. Which event did you just compete in? I was in Butterfly and Backstroke. You're in Butterfly and Backstroke. So two events, that's pretty amazing. How did you go? I got in pretty well. I got a gold and a bronze. Gold and bronze. Now, how many times have you been to a state championship yourself? A lot of times. <laughs> She's been to a lot of state events. You hope to, be, hope to come to a few more? Like Metro All, I got um, four of the, of the gold medals. Fantastic. Well, congratulations, Mia. We hope to see you at many more state championships. So well done and keep going strong. 
Thank you. So just taking off now, we have in lane three, Isabel from St Mary's Primary School East St Kilda. She's our 12, 13 girl. In lane four, 11 year old Ayla from St Mary's Primary School in Echuca. And in lane five, Molly from Lowther Hall AGS. Okay, we've got this event combined. So the girls in four and five are competing against each other and the girl in lane three is swimming for a time. So our two 11-year-old um, girls both have the same classification. So whichever one finishes first will be the winner. Winner in that race, yes. And that looks like at the moment it's Ayla. Isabel's having a little bit of trouble on the ropes there. We're watching here as Ayla comes down to finish. In a time of about 108, I think. 107.12. Yep. And Isabel's finish time was a 113.17. And Molly a 126.86. Watch as the girls leave the pool. And we pan down to the other end of the pool, the side end of the pool, as the boys for the 9, 10, 50 metre backstroke prepare for their race. I'll be introduced as soon as a presentation has been finished. We now have behind the blocks the boys 9, 10, 50 metre backstroke multi-class. In lane two, we have Lachlan from St. Joseph's Primary School, Sorrento. Giving us a wave there. In lane three is Max from Rutherglen Primary School. Lane four, Eli from Timboon Prep to 12 School. Lane five is Alex from Karingal Primary School. Big wave and a smile from Alex. And lane six, Jaden from Mount View Primary School. Giving us a wave and getting his goggles back on, ready for his race. So I think these are the same boys we had in the freestyle earlier. So we've got an S7, an S10 and three S15s. 15s. All starting in the water for backstroke. So all over the place they've come from here. Sorrento, Rutherglen, Timboon. Way down in the Western District. Yes. Eli's got an early lead there. Very comfortable at, with his backstroke. Alex is swimming well there, looking for a second position. Eli says, catch me if you can. Yes, he's way out there. Alex is looking good though too. So Eli's touched in a time of 49.54. Congratulations to Tim Boone if you're watching. And Alex has finished in a time of 58.29 from Karingal. Lachlan a 103.06. Max a 104.17. And Jaden. Just come in with a 113.61. Well done, boys. Just watch as the boys leave the water. And the boys, 11 year olds, 50 metre backstroke multi class, are preparing. They'll be introduced as soon as the medal presentation is completed. Can we 
way Ben. Till I've announced these swimmers before the. I just don't want the multi class swimmers missing out. Mm. Behind the blocks now, we have the 11 year old multi class boys backstroke. In lane three, we have Louis from Parktone Primary School. In lane four is Victor from Clifton Hill Primary School. In lane five, Ryder from Mount View Primary School. And lane six is Ben from Roland Park Primary School. Giving us a wave there. Ben looks excited. We are here at the State Swimming Championships and my name's Raf Agostino and I've got a young, lovely young guy. What's your name? I'm um, Xavier. Xavier, and what school are you from, Xavier? I'm from Hampton Primary. Fantastic. And what event did you just compete in? What race? I competed in the 5th G backstroke. And how did you go? I came first uh, with a time of 38 seconds. Now, is that a PB for you? Uh, no, it's not, because I got a 37 in regionals, so a bit disappointing, but came out with a gold. So. Well, you never know, you might come back there, but look, you still came first, which is fantastic. How many times have you been to a state final? Um, it's actually my first time, because uh, I was out in Asia for a bit. Uh, yeah, so this is my first one. Fantastic, first one. I reckon it's not going to be your last. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it next year. Hopefully I get better and stronger, so yeah. Brilliant stuff, mate. Well, congratulations and well done for going so well. Brilliant stuff. We're going to get back to the racing. Thank you. Here is lane five, looking very strong. And that was Ryder. Yeah, 5413. And then Victor, 5579. Louis, 1055. Ben's just coming in very, just down, about to go under the flags. Doing a great job. Oh. It's got people over there too. Right. So, one, two, three. Oh, you go first. All right, so behind the blocks now, we have the boys 12 to 13, 50 metre backstroke multi-class. In lane three is Jin from Overnewton Primary School in Keelaw. Giving us a big wave there. Lane four, we have Ewan from Brighton Primary School. Lane five is Lachlan from Hunting Tower School. And lane six is James from St Kevin's College. Also giving us a wave there. in a relay race. Now we're here at the State Swimming Championships and we're here with two lovely young girls. And where are you from and what's your name? I'm Isabel Kilborn and I'm from Ballarat. And you are? I'm Michaela Edlington and I'm from Orbost. Thank you. Now Michaela, you're from Orbost. Tell us, tell everyone how long it took you to get here today. Four hours, around four hours. That's crazy. What about yourself? Just an hour and a half. Still a long way, still a long way. We love seeing country locations and regional locations being part of the championship. What's school sport been like for you this year in terms of the journey? Um, well, it's been good. I've had fairly good trip. Most of the way up till sail, I had one of my good friends with, in most of my events with me. So she didn't make it to this one, but yeah, I had a good time. Good work. What about yourself? Yeah, I had a good time coming here. Now, how many times have you made a state final? This is my first time. First time for you. What about you? Uh, this is my second time. Second time for you, Michaela. Well, well done. And we hope to see you a lot more in the future. And I'm sure we're going to be seeing you at other state championships. Hopefully. Thank you. So our multi-class 
boys are just finishing off now. So we had Ewan in a time of 58.74. Lachlan, 117.59. James, 127.98. And Jin, 136.20. Well, none of those boys in their backstroke event. So you know what this means, don't you? We're now into the noisy it's stage of the morning. It's relay time. A lot of excited girls and boys out there. Hopefully back in the schools at home. You'll tune into our live feed today to watch short school compete in their relay event. Yep, hopefully they're all at school watching. Watching, enjoying the racing. Instead of doing work. <laughs> So the girls preparing behind the blocks now are the 9 to 13 medley relays. So this one is a combined age group, so it's from 9 to 13, so it could be anyone from grades 4 up through to 6. So of course this is a medley relay, so we have starting off with backstroke. Backstroke in the water, followed by breaststroke. Butterfly, butterfly and finishing freestyle. with freestyle. Alphabetical order, if you ever forget. I think they're ready to be introduced. Oh, no. So we now have the girls 9 to 13 medley relay. So in lane 0 is Girton Grammar School. Lane 1 is Cathedral College Wangaratta. Lane 2, Ballarat and Clarendon College. Lane 3 is MLC. Lane 4, Burbank. Lane 5, Cardinia International School. Lane 6, Westgarth Primary. Lane 7, St Paul's Anglican Grammar School in Warrigal. And Lane 8, St Mary's Primary School, Echuca. Good luck girls, they're up on the box, be whistled up onto the box, ready for their race. Into the water for backstroke. And we are here at the State Swimming Championships and I'm here with the very lovely Michaela Smith. Michaela, what brings you to MSAC today? Um, I thought that would be a really good idea just to give back to the sport that's given me so much over the years. So to come in here and, you know, see the young talent that's coming through is really exciting. Brilliant stuff. Now you are a VIS athlete. You've made Team Vic several times as well. Tell us about the, the initial stages of when you made Team Vic. Yeah, so I made it... Um, I was nine years old, uh, Pacific School Games was my first Team Vic, so that was huge for me. I was the youngest on the team, so it was like really, it was really exciting to be a part of a team like that. And yeah, I was every year so excited to be a part of the Team Vic team. It was always a goal of mine to get onto it, yeah. So Pacific School Games 2008, first one, and you've made it every year since then. How important is school sport for you as an athlete? It pretty much, I would say it, it gave me like a drive to continue swimming. It kind of gave me that, you know, goal every single year to, you know, compete and to keep training to try and make the team. You know, it was always a massive thing to make Team Vic and, you know, I was always so excited to represent the state. It was really good. Now, where do you hope to take your sport and your swimming one day? Uh, hopefully to the Olympics <laughs> this year, yeah. So, um, yeah, hoping to take it to Tokyo 2021. Uh, trials are in six weeks, I think. Just, yeah, so hopefully. Pretty exciting times. We'll certainly be cheering for you as a, a Team Vic alumni person. We're going to get behind you and support you as much as we can. Good luck for the Olympics. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem.
As we come back to the relay racing here, we've got lane four, Furbank taking a very strong lead there with the butterfly. It looks like Girton in lane zero. And Ballarat in lane two fighting it out for early places. So Furbank, the current record holder for this event, and their record that they're looking to beat is a 224.38. Making their way down to the finish now. With an extremely dominating lead. Finishing in a time of 228. The official time will come up in a moment. So in second place, it looks like it might be MLC. MLC in lane three. 244.5. And third was... Cardinia International School. Yeah. 245.69. Down there and there in Geelong. Furbank's time was a 228.39. Well done, girls. And as they complete their race, the boys in the 9.13 age group are preparing. So the multi-class presentations for the 12.13 backstroke is taking place as the girls leave the water. For the medley. And the boys are preparing behind the blocks. We now have the boys 9 to 13, 200 metre medley relay. In lane one, we have Eltham East Primary School. Lane two is Ballarat and Clarendon College. Lane three, Penley and Essendon Mooney Ponds. Lane four, St Kevin's College. Lane five, Westbourne Grammar School. Lane six, Gippsland Grammar School in Sale. Lane seven, Echuca Primary School. And in lane eight, Goulburn Valley Grammar School. So the record for this event was is held by Q East Primary School from back in 2014 in a time of 2.23.39. Good time. And it looks like St Kevin's is out there to try and get the record. Just while we have a moment, we'll just say a big thank you to our Swimming Victoria technical officials who are here today. We can't have these events without them. All of will have started at some point as a parent of a child, probably as a swimmer. 100%. And then they discontinue for many years after, usually the children have finished swimming and gone. Yes. On so the bigger and better things. I'm still a parent of a swimmer, but I'm also a technical official. So you're doing both jobs at the moment. Yes. <laughs> so St Kevin's here have a very strong lead. Change over to the butterfly swimmers now. As breaststroke comes down to touch. You watch the entries from the side of the pool here. So Gippsland touched second. And Altham East, third at the moment. So we've got lots of, um, they're all over the pool at the moment. Butterfly though in lane four is finishing first. Like St Kevin's is up there. Yep. Entering the water first. Strong freestyle coming down, but it'll be a tight com competition for second and third. Yep, so four, five, and six here. 
So lane four's in no danger at all at the moment. However, the place for second looks like it's going to Gippsland Grammar School at the moment from Sale. However, I wouldn't count out Penley and Essendon at this stage. No, absolutely not. So, yep, St. Kevin's have taken it out in a 2.29.36. Followed by Gippsland. And, yes, Penley and Essendon have come third. Good racing, boys. As the last swimmer comes into touch there, we've got the results on the screen. We'll now move back to the other end of the pool for the multi-class breaststroke events now. There'll be fewer swimmers in these events than the freestyle on the backstroke because being a technical stroke, it's a little bit harder. Looks like we may have a couple of combined events. Goldstream. And a parent and or teacher. Along with a parent or a teacher. Thank you. What's to do with it? A little bit of a break at the moment while we do some presentations for relays. The boys moving down there, we're panning out there, showing some of the crowd at the moment. The parent support and school support that's here today. As we've said, there's many students and parents that have travelled a long way to get to this event today, so enjoying the day here at the state championships for school sport Victoria for primary schools. The next events that we'll see on the today will be the multi-class breaststroke events. And then it'll follow by all the excitement of the freestyle relays. And the reason we've probably got a bit of a break at the moment is we've got students being presented in the multi-class events from the backstroke and some of those students will be in the breaststroke as well.
enjoying the day so far, Andrew? Good to see these young swimmers, developing swimmers of the future. As we said earlier, it's many of them it's their first time of competition, with no competition last year, so Correct. not having this level for the 9, 10, and some of the 11 year olds won't have had any either. So, yeah. So, a huge experience for them. Yeah, most people would know we've split the um, competition this year, so we had the secondary on Thursday last week, and then of course the primary today. Does mean we have a little bit of space in between some events because we need to sort of wait for them to finish pr prior races, ready for their next race. Correct. Don't want anyone to miss their race. Big shout out to all our volunteer timekeepers today. Shout out to Dale Sutton High School who have come to the party and helped out with our timekeeping duties today. So yep. students from Melbourne High School who are here timekeeping for the day. Fantastic. Thank them. Without those sort of people volunteering, we can't run these type of events. And I'm going to give a big shout out to Lucy, our MSAC staff member who makes sure all the timing equipment works properly touch pads, the buttons, a big, she big does job. a fantastic job Lucy. And with all those sorts of equipment going that we get these results pretty much instantaneously. We do. More relay medal presentations now. Some of these students are also a, a, be swimming in the freestyle races too, so mm. we're waiting for them to return to the marshalling area. Fantastic that the rain has held out for us today. Yes, we've had a really nice temperature here really for racing. ready to start our multi-class breaststroke event soon. So if you are watching at home or at school, give us a comment on the Facebook page so we know you're watching.
So following this medal presentation for the relay, we'll announce the competitors for the girls' 12, 13, 50 metre breaststroke multi-class event. We have Mia in lane four and Tegan in lane five. multi-class. In lane four we have Mia from Alfington Primary School and in lane five Tegan from Lynbrook Primary School. Good luck girls. for the breaststroke race and they're off. You'll notice there one of the girls had a, an assistant who was able to steady her on behind the block. Now we are here at the State Swimming Championships. My name is Raf Agostino and I've got uh, Michelle Lever. And I've got Lockie here with me. Lockie, you're from Sorrento, sorry, St. Joseph's in Sorrento. Tell me what you just competed in. States. So yep, but what races? The freestyle backstroke. Oh, yeah. And two? Yep, so say it again. Freestyle and backstroke. Freestyle and backstroke, 50 metres, which is fantastic. Now, something special happened where you had your whole class watching you, the whole schooling classes watching you from back at school, is that right? Yeah. So you're going to go back and they're going to be going, I know you, I've seen you on there, right? Yeah. Now where do you hope to take your swimming one day? Uh, Just enjoy it? Because I think enjoying it is really important. What do you do to enjoy swimming? Um, yeah, I just did swimming lessons. And do you play other sports? Yeah. What do you play? Footy and basketball. Footy, basketball, swimming, you must be very tired. Are you tired all the time? And what? And hippers as well. Fantastic, mate. Well, good luck in your sport. Make sure you keep enjoying your sport. That's really important. So well done and go well, buddy. Thanks. So, and thanks for having us. Soft touch, so we'll just wait for her time to come up on the board. And Tegan coming into the touch under the flags now. And just finish Tegan. Crowd showing their appreciation with lots of loud clapping. Mia had a time of 137.95 and Tegan a time of 159.81. Girls are being helped to escort for the pool. Whoops. I think we've lost some goggles down the bottom of the pool. there, bouncing around, getting up onto the blocks, needs to put his goggles on, 
he's away. You'll notice that the helper there is holding his ankle. When the and we are here at the State Swimming Championships. My name's Raf Agostino and I've got four lovely girls here from MLC. Just give us your names. My name is Ray. My name is Catherine. My name's Annabelle. My name's Georgia. Georgia and all of you girls, fantastic. Now, who's your favourite teacher at MLC? Miss Kent. Mrs Kent, Julian Kent. How good is she? Now, you guys have made a state final. Tell me, how many times have you made a state final? Um, once. Once, all of these girls have just, this is the first time they made a state final, which is so exciting. They're excited. How excited were you when you found out you went through the state final? I was super excited when I found out. Now, you guys do other sports as well. What do you do? I do gymnastics. And how many hours of gymnastics, you were just telling me before, do you do? I do 25 hours a week. 25 hours of gymnastics. What about you? Do you do any other sport? No. I do running. Good job. And what about you? Um, I do dancing. Dancing as well. Well, that's fantastic, and we loved having you here. We hope to see you at many other state finals. So, congratulations for making it. Brilliant stuff. Hope to see you in the future. Thank you. Take care. And we've just watched Eli come into there from Tim Boone Primary School with a time of 106.95. And Harry's just touched in now in a time of 126.72. So, well done. I'm Harry from Brighton Primary School and Eli from Tim Boone. Behind the blocks now we have the boys 11 year old 50 metre breaststroke multi class. In lane three is Caden from Heatherton. In lane four we have Ryder from Mountain View Primary School. And in lane five, Louis from Parktone Primary. Boys are off on their breaststroke. Whoops. <laughs> so we got Ryder looking good down there. Ryder did start with a couple of freestyle strokes, so he might be a little bit <laughs> behind the eight ball here. Caden in three doing a good job there, and Lewis in lane five from Parktone Primary School. finished first in a time of 105. We may need to wait on the official results of this event. Lane three was Caden, he came second with 113.94. And then Lewis finished third with 122.07. Boys are preparing there behind the blocks. Lockie Sefton's going to start in the water and Lockie Zed's going to start on the blocks. And they're away. This will be the last of our individual swims. And we move on to the relay time. We do. Lots of excitement. 
Yep. Lots of noise in the stands. And hopefully you're all cheering from home and from school as well. So our Lachlan in lane four is an SB6, and our Lachlan in lane five is an SB14. So quite a difference there in their multi-class classifications. Yes. So often you'll find the swimmers may have a different classification in breaststroke than they do for another event, being such a technical stroke. And the classifications are gauged on how well they can physically able to do the stroke. Correct. Well, it looks like Lachlan here in lane four from Hunting Tower School is doing a really good job. Moving on nice and smoothly. And he's finished in a time of 1.10, I think. So all our relay swimmers are now getting ready for their events. So there'll be a lot of action on pool deck coming up now. Just waiting for the other Lachlan to finish his race. Comes up now. 145.01. And Lachlan from Hunting Towers time was 110.78. Good job, boys. All right, the girls, as a presentation for one of the pre previous races has been taking place, the Girls 9-10, showing them at a freestyle relay race, uh, prepare themselves behind the blocks. Montmorency South Primary School. Lane 3, Newport Lakes Primary School. Lane 4, Furbank Anglican Grammar School. Lane 5, Presbyterian Ladies College. Lane 6, Achuka Primary School. Lane 7, Cowles Primary School. And in Lane 8, Cathedral College in Wangaratta. just come today for a relay. I don't recall seeing an individual swimmer from that school, so no. fantastic that those girls have made the trip out here to compete in their relay. Well, we've, got cows, we've got cows, we've got a Chuka, mm. Wangaratta, Ballarat. And our record holders for this event is MLC, and their record is a 225.22. going to Presbyterian Ladies College in lane five. And the Chuka actually with lane six. Doing a great job these young girls. Mm, the Presbyterian Ladies College is coming in to touch first on the second changeover to third. Where they go? Followed by Chuka. And Fairbank, Anglican, and the school going in third. So our officials keeping an eye on things here to make sure we don't have any breaks at the changeovers. Make sure the previous swimmer touches before the 
next swimmer takes off. Yes, because unfortunately, if not, they do get disqualified. And nerves often make a big part in that part they of the, the game. They do. They do. excited about finishing. So it looks like, yeah, PLC are in front here at the last turn, last touch. And a close fight between Echuca and, and Fairbank for a second. Looks like Fairbank's got the goods at the moment. Yep. A strong swimming finish from the PLC girls. Players 238.08 for PLC. Furbank second. And all the way from Achuka to come in third. Yep, and a 250 flat. are moving forward now for the 9-10 200 meter freestyle relay. They'll adjust their blocks to get their feet setting. in this age group. Fantastic. So the record here is a 2.22.19 that these boys are looking at. Good start from all the boys there. It's quite a tight little race across the pool. Yep. Four and five though, fighting it out at the moment. So St Kevin's and Christian College Heighton. I think there's a couple of schools here that may have just come along for this relay. I think so. Big effort for the group to come down for this event. It's fantastic that they managed to get here, yep. First to change over was St, St. Kevin's. Kevin's. and Christian College Heighton, Belmont. Fighting it out for second and third at the moment. Change over there to lane four. So Kevin's into the water. Followed by Christian College Heighton, Belmont. So extending their lead now. Envelope Conway came, came in second there. Third, sorry, so they're putting a show in. him from here I think. Yeah I think he's got a fairly comfortable lead at the moment. Second looks comfortable as well. Third could be anybody's race though. So Kevin's is in the water for their last leg of their race. 
So it's always a bit of a a lotto, really, whether you put your fastest swimmer in first, first or, or last or somewhere in the middle. It can make all the difference. But I think it's in Kevin's that got it right this time. I think so. It looks like Christian College Height and Belmont are possibly going to take out second yeah, place. Yeah, comfortable in second. Yep, so St. Kevin's a time of 2.34.12. Inverloch Conwack over there in lane two. Could get a third place. Yep, lane yep. five, second, Christian College Height in Belmont. And you were right, Andrew. Third was Inverloch right. Conwack. Um, boys, and I'll leave the pool now. The next race, the girls' 11 year old 200 freestyle preparing for their race now. going to St. Catherine School in Turak. Yes, St. Catherine School in Turak. They have a lovely um, 25 metre indoor pool on the school grounds there. I do some of their timing for them out there with their school carnivals. Look, they made good use of that pool then. Five, Templestowe Park is putting in a good show as well. Back's coming through quite strong here. Might get it by the changeover, I think. It will be close. Okay, so Catherine's will hold them out, I think, for the changeover. Catherine's in first. Templestowe Park in second. down and we'll see what their last swimmer has to offer. Penny and Essendon in third place at the moment. Catherine's are in the water first. Yeah, and Templestowe not far behind. So. Looks like it'll be four and five at this stage. They're coming into touch first. Yep, so it'll be St. Catherine's, Catherine's in a time of 2.18. 9-6. Followed by Templestowe, 2.21.8.3. And it looks like... Yeah. 
Yep, third place was Penley and Essendon Mooney Ponds, 233-40. Well done, girls. Relay. In lane one is Skipton Primary School. Lane two, St. Laborious Primary School Eagle Hawk. Lane three, Penley and Essendon Mooney Ponds. Lane four is Ballwood Primary School. Lane five, Trinity Grammar School. Lane six, Eltham College. Lane seven, Lee and Gatha Primary School. And in lane eight, we have Wodonga. Okay, the boys are off, and the record here is a 21064. So, see how close they can get to that today. Held by Mel Melbourne Grammar School. So I think this is our first glimpse of Skipton Primary School. I think so, yes. I haven't seen them before. And Lee and Gatha too, probably. Wodonga will come a long way down from the border. Correct. Soon today. Baldwin Primary School in Lane 4. I've seen them come through from district, division, region through all the rounds when I've been doing the timing for those events. They look very good. Look very strong at the moment. And a very commanding lead. You'll notice they have a girl in their relay as well, which you're allowed to do at this stage. Yes, so we can Girls have... can swim in the boys races. Correct. Like a strong relay team sometimes not vice versa. So let's hope these boys don't mow her down. But you <laughs> often find, though, a lot of the girls at this age can be quicker than the boys. Yes, and stronger, usually. So... Tight for second and third, though. There's two of them there. Eltham and Penley and Essen and Grammar fighting out for that second place at the moment. Yep, so Ball and Silt have got a handy lead here. The last swimmer going in. And we've got Trinity. Kicking like Mac crazy. Eltham. Yeah, it's been an Eltham. Coming through strong. Penley and Essendon Grammar over there. Will they hold on to third or will lane five from Trinity Grammar School come through? So it's Elton and, and then Penley and Essendon. 
Just waiting for Baldwin's time to come up on the board. There we go, 2.13.62. So that was a pretty good time. Move on to the last of the girls events for today as the boys clear the water. The girls 12-13 freestyle relay will prepare themselves for their last race. Behind the blocks now we have the girls 12-13 200 metre freestyle relay. In lane zero is Gertie Grammar School. In lane one, Ivanhoe Girls Grammar School. Lane two is St. Joseph's Primary School, Warrnambool. Lane three, St. Paul's Anglican Grammar School from Warrigal. Lane four is Furbank Anglican Grammar School. Lane five is Melbourne Grammar School, Grimwade. Lane six, Penley and Essendon, Mooney Ponds. Lane seven, we have Sacred Heart, Yarrawonga. And in lane eight, St. Mary's Primary School, Echuca. Record here held by St. Cats in Turak of a 208.36. Set in 2019, so the last time this event was run, Correct. they took the record out. Unfortunately, they don't have a team in this age group this year. And four's got a very significant lead early, Fairbank. School in lane zero again, Gerton. Looks like they're coming second at the moment. Coming into touch now for the second to third. Yep, so Fairbank first. And Gerton touch for second place at the moment. Yep, so Fairbank a very strong lead here. And then Penley and Essendon and Grammar coming in third at the stage. I think it'll be a fight for the minor medals here. Yes, Fairbank have got a strong lead at the moment. They have. Their last one was just about to hit the water, there she goes. So they've turned in a 136.50 and the record they're looking for is a 208.36. It's a doable. It's, yeah, quite doable. We'll just see what... Um, I don't think she's quite going to make it. Looks like Melbourne Grammar School there. Grimwald is yep, so now Fairbank, under second. Fairbank first in a 210.66. Second will be Melbourne Grammar School. Yep. And third is Girton. to the last event of today. Yes. Our school Sport Victoria Primary School Final, State Final, which will be the boys 12-13, 200 metre freestyle relay. So I hope you've all enjoyed the day and been tuning in on the live stream to watch your swimmers. The girls, 11-year-old, 200 metre freestyle relay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. When they get back into your schools, congratulate them for representing yes. your school at the state finals. Absolutely. It's a huge achievement and a huge honour to do that for your school. And a big thank you to our technical officials today who have volunteered their time to come out here and make this event possible. 
SSV have done a great job putting on these two events this year. Behind the blocks for the final event of the morning is the boys 12 to 13 200 metre freestyle relay. In lane one, we have Goulburn Valley Grammar School. Lane two is Ballarat and Clarendon College. Lane three, Williamstown North Primary School. Lane four, St Kevin's College. Lane five, Mentone Grammar School. Lane six, Gippsland Grammar School in Sale. Lane seven, Echuca Primary School. And lane eight, Eltham East Primary School. Start this race. So the record in this event is a two oh six nineteen, held by Scotch College from back in two thousand sixteen. Hold that record then. But most of these records have only been set in the last four or five years, so indicating that our swimming is getting stronger in Victoria. It certainly is. And the times keep coming down, down and down. Even though we had COVID last year, I think a lot of these swimmers did an awful lot of land work during the lockdowns. Get their fitness up they did. and their strength up. And it's shown as they've come back to the water. Lane 5 has taken an early lead, I think, from Mentone. And that's St Kevin's out in front, being challenged by Williamstown. So Williamstown North has taken the lead here at the moment. First, and then we've got for the final I'll touch up. Not far behind. The last one is in for St Kevin's. Followed by Williamstown. Gibson Grammar School from Sale came in third there. <coughs> and that concludes our racing for today. 
Yes, so thank you for having us in your lounge rooms and your classrooms. Uh, that's a bye from me, Deb Kinder, and we hope to see you all back here next year. And so goodbye from Andrew Marks as well as we leave the live streaming. I think we're going to an interview. And we're just finishing off one of the biggest events of our calendar year, the State Primary Swimming Championships. I'm here with Rayoni. Rayoni, what was the standout for you? Oh, look, Raph was amazing. Uh, performances all around by the students, as I said at the start. Um, great to even make the state championships. And hearing from the students that have been here, this is their first time at this event, um, was really magical for them. So there was a lot of excitement amongst the students um, just experiencing what this event offers them. It was. There was a lot of excitement with parents, a lot of excitement with the students, a lot of excitement with teachers, which is really good. It was a real, real buzz. It is a bit of a shame that it's over so quick because we love these kinds of events. I think one of the standouts for me was um, the multi-class kids again. Um, there was a little little guy named Lockie who is from St Joseph's in Sorrento who did so well in his competition. But I think seeing that the school was watching from classrooms, the whole school watching, that was just a, a really big thing for you. What's next for us at SSV? Well, I guess, uh, Raf, we're into Term 2, so a whole range of sports happening in Term 2, which is um, really exciting. We are heading into Cross Country as one of our next big three we have on the School Sport Victoria program, so Cross Country will certainly be ramping up during this term. Um, but I guess in terms of School Sport Victoria, you know, it's an exciting time all round. We've got our new 10-year strategy out and really putting in a, a range of new initiatives to really ramp up our future focus and have our, yeah, I guess grow the participation in School Sport by Victorian students. We're really excited about this. Yeah, it is. Term two is going to be big. You know, we've had the, last year we had the virtual cross country. We're going to we're going to try and merge the virtual cross country and the state cross country together. So look out for that as that comes on board as well. But just as Rayani has mentioned, that we've got the strategic directions document as well that's out. But we've got skateboarding opportunities. We've got so many things that we've got going on. Sometimes I wonder which way's up, and I'm sure you must feel the same thing. So look, it's been an exciting day. We've loved having all the students here. So. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like where you're watching and we will see you at the next event. Brilliant stuff. Now you guys have just won the relay. Is this the first relay that you guys competed in? Um, yes, yeah, the first relay our whole relay team competed in, yeah. Good job. Now tell me, how many times have you been to a state championship? Once. First one? School made it. Made it. Our school made it to the first one. This is the first time our school made it to the first. So this is the first time that Baldwin has made the state final, which is very exciting. Where do you hope to take your swimming one day? Actually, not sure yet. Very good. What about you? Do you play any other sports? Yeah, like um, soccer. Soccer in our like school. Great work. We love soccer. We love football. We love all the sports. But we've loved having you here at the swimming as well. So congratulations, and we hope to see you in the future. Thank you.